You don't even like sports. Welcome to You Don't Even Like Sports, a podcast about sports for people who don't like sports. With your hosts, Adam Todd Brown and Jeff May. Hey, hey, Jeff. Yeah, Adam. Jeff, are you there? Jeff, I... wake up. Jeff, wake up. No. no, no Whoa. Happening? Hey, Jeff. Jeff. Oh, good God, one, no. one. No. First of all, good morning. Good morning. And two, you don't even like sports. Ah, uh, shit. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. You'd say that. That's a lie. I was actually just having a dream, and in that, uh, you said you liked sports, and that's how I knew that it was a dream. Was because you would never say that because you don't even like sports. Oh well, I mean, if you like sports, you probably would have dreamed about sports. I would think instead of dreaming about me, although I, I am pretty fucking great. They call me the sports of podcast hosts for a reason. I don't, I don't have to. Uh, I don't have to dream about sports because I, I live it. So I'm sorry. You are quite an athlete. I'll give you that. Thank you. So the final episode of the Diego Maradona season, this feels like an appropriate place to stop. The final asterisk episode of the the Diego Maradona season, because we're going to do a follow up on this. It's just going to be in a long time. It's going to be in a while. Well, depending on how the Argentinian yeah. uh, justice system works, like I'm basing that thinking on the American justice system. Argentina might just whip these motherfuckers right through the process. Yeah. And this doesn't seem fair either. Like this doesn't seem like it's going to be a particularly fair, fair trial. No, no, they're probably going to burn. But, but it uh, might take a la 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 long, a la 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 long, 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 long time. Oh, no. I don't get it. Remember that song? Yeah, it was, it was good. It's crazy. So, yeah, we're talking about the highly sad death of Diego Maradona. And uh, because this is still a developing story, it's going to be a shorter episode than usual. What do you want from us? It's going to be Maradona sized. Yeah. That's appropriate. Thick full of content. Yep. Short and stocky baby. So this is the, these are the basic details behind the death of Diego Maradona on November 2nd, 2020. He was admitted to the hospital for mental health treatment and a representative said his condition was not serious, but he also added that Maradona had been quote, very sad for a week. Didn't want to eat, which that sounds kind of serious to me. That sounds like when you hear about cats going to die. Yeah. When they go like find a place to go die. Yeah. And the the stop eating part. I had a cat who died of kidney failure and for like a week before that wasn't eaten. Diego Maradona of cats, they called her. Diego (laughs) Meowadonna. So his personal doctor, Leopoldo Luque, is the one who took him to the hospital. And uh, this is a quote from him. My idea is to have him hydrated for three days, see the evolution, and adjust the medication. There is no emergency at all. And it turns out that was not quite true. Because the following day, it was revealed that Maradona had undergone emergency brain surgery to treat a subdural hematoma, which is when blood basically gathers yeah it just hangs scalp. out yeah yeah it's bad it's very bad bad what, for head in a soccer ball what do you think they do you gotta probably gotta trepan that right just cut a fucking mm-hmm. hole in the hole in the yeah, skull and let it shoot out skull, I'm guessing yeah like when i had that armpit thing except in your skull just blood shooting out probably, probably correct yeah probably the exact same thing you probably get it the same way so in what would eventually come to be a very controversial move. Maradona was released from the hospital a little over a week later on November 12th and continued his recovery on an outpatient basis overseen by his personal doctor, Leopoldo Luque. This is tough because I think what the crux of this is going to sort of rely on is Diego Maradona is a man who gets his way. I think we can all agree that he has lived his life in a way that he gets what he wants. And so I think what the crux of the the trial is going to be is, is this what he demanded? Is this the activity and actions that he wanted? He, want, he didn't want to be in a hospital. He wanted to be home. Right. And that's something you saw in the Michael Jackson trial, too, exactly. where it's it's like when someone's that huge, someone's going to do what they want them to do. That's how Prince died. Like he... His doctors basically cut him off from opioids, so he just had an assistant go buy him opioids on the street, and they accidentally brought him bootleg fentanyl, which uh, killed him. Like, 
in yeah, reading through all of this, like when we get to the part where people are charged, it's like I kind of get it with his doctor, but the nurses and all those people who are just assisting the doctor, they don't have that kind of power. They can't. In, yeah. In- as we go through it, there are certain points where like he's dying over the course of like a very bad 12 hours where people aren't checking on him. And that to me is a problem. Yeah, they they make it seem like at the very least they didn't do the necessary checks. It was more that they were going in and being like, is he still breathing? Yep, he's still breathing. It's fine. And uh, the truth was, yes, he was breathing, but he was also dying over the course of those 12 hours. And like with the doctor thing, one of the arguments they make is, yes, this might have been what Diego Maradona was demanding, but also as a doctor you should know when someone is in not the right mental state to make decisions like that there you go so it's a, it's a it's a very complicated thing so he leaves the hospital on the 12th he's basically treated in his home by this medical staff and on november 25th diego maradona suffered a heart attack at his home in argentina and died he was initially found unresponsive by his personal psychologist carlos diaz and his psychiatrist, Agostina Kosachov, which that alone, why are they the ones checking on him? Yeah, that's a weird, that's an interesting way to have that sort of, it's the brain. I mean, you know, I mean, I guess it's that that is the case is because he was going through brain shit, but yeah, but they're also like psychi- psychologists and psychiatrists are not necessarily physical ailment people. Like, I get it has to do with the brain, but, you know. Yeah, it seems like people were just kind of underestimating what was wrong with him, I think. And we will get to, in a second, There, there is at least one medical professional who tried to ring some alarms over this. But uh, after he was found unresponsive, his nephew and assistant were called to try to wake him, which also then, just call for help right then. Like, why wait? I think it's definitely there's like a fear aspect to this. Yeah. People are like, oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Because this guy is one of the most adored people in Argentina, and you may be responsible for his death. Yeah, it would be a tense situation. That's for sure. Yikes. So later, a doctor who lived in the neighborhood arrived and tried to resuscitate Diego using adrenaline and atropine shots, but he was unsuccessful. Diego Maradona was declared dead. He was 60 years old. The next day... This is how beloved this guy was. His coffin, draped in jerseys from the Argentinian teams he played for, and an Argentinian flag, was laid in state at the presidential palace so the public could pay their final respects. And I read conflicting reports of how long this lasted. One said it was for three days, and one said it was supposed to be for three days, but then a riot broke out in the lobby, and they ended up just moving his body after one day and... He was buried uh, in a private funeral. I mean, yeah, that sounds about right, right? Yeah. I mean, I, I I could see people, I could see it going either way. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if people got unruly in line. There's a lot of emotion going back and forth. Yeah. Um, Plus, you know, it's like you got your public shit. Now let's do our private shit. Yeah. So a private funeral was held. Maradona was buried. At the Jardín de Bella Vista Cemetery in Argentina, next to his parents. Ever been? Uh, that's where I go every summer. Yeah, my mom's buried there. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. My mom's still alive. She's still she's <laughs> alive in, in Wisconsin. <laughs> my dad's buried there. You happy? No, he's yeah. not. His ashes are at my mom's place. No one's buried there. This place is made up. How about that? Yeah, that's fair. So five days after his death, police searched the home and office of Leopoldo Luque after Maradona's family raised concerns about the circumstances surrounding his death. And so that was kind of the first wave of information that came out back in November of 2020. Following month, uh, there was a Forbes article that uh, it was an interview with a friend of Diego Maradona, his longtime friend, former manager, Stefano Sisi. And uh, he said this, he died of sadness. His heart was full of sadness. In the last months, he started letting go. He decided it as he always decided how to live his life. He was tired. He was fed up and he decided to go to the quietest place possible with his mom and dad. The movies. Such a bummer. (laughs) 
Yeah, and like judging at the time that he it was probably like a Marvel movie or something. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, that is that's a very sad sad it's, quote. It, it's a real bummer cuz he missed COVID. Yeah. Like right before it, too. No, he died in November 2020. Oh, for some reason I thought 2019 my brain shorted out. Oh, he got to experience COVID. Good for him. Well, there were even rumors at one point that he died of covid and his people had to come out and clarify that that was not the case You're like no 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 his brain swelled and we killed him yeah 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 we just didn't do anything while he was dying but it wasn't covid that was killing him it was our neglect yeah so uh stefano cc wasn't alone in that sentiment maradona's biographer daniel arcucci said this in a newspaper interview in argentina diego began to suffer because he no longer felt maradona which man i'm feeling maradona is a thing i think i'm gonna say to people whenever i like look really good or something i don't know if i have a good set no it's when you're gonna do a lot of blow and call out the papacy well that's what i do next after i have the good feelings and then i'm like oh i'm feeling maradona (laughs) she's gonna cheat on my wife and do some blow (laughs) i do not have the sinuses for cocaine i don't know if it would even get up there I was always thinking about it because like I have that broken yeah. nose thing probably wear that down a little bit. It might. Yeah. It probably smell better. Yeah. You never know. Try it out. Start doing cocaine. I'm, I'm down. So uh, that was that was the first bit of extra sad news that came out after Maradona died that maybe he was just uh, too sad to live. And see, that's that's again where charging his medical team gets a little tricky because what if he was just like, look, I don't want to fucking do this anymore. I just want to go home and lay in my bed and fucking die. They're going to they're going to let him. It's hard at 60. Yeah, that's the thing. But in Maradona years, he was like 89. I would also add too that if you are employed by this man, you probably don't want to be like, we should let him die. Cuz they're probably like, hey, we should keep this guy alive so we can keep working. Yeah. Yeah, it would be I mean, it would also be a highly unethical thing for an actual doctor to do. And he did have a personal doctor. So I don't know. It it does seem like he was very sad at the end of his life, which is a bummer because just like by 2017, he was joining FIFA and things seemed to be going all right. They poisoned him. That wouldn't surprise me one bit. FIFA, FIFA. the CIA FIFA. Yeah. Did it. FIFA did it. So uh, then in May of this year, I remember texting Jeff this story when I found it because I didn't want to just be sad. I wanted Jeff to be sad too. Uh, It was reported that most likely Diego Maradona died after 12 hours of agonizing pain. A medical board appointed to investigate his death determined that Diego, quote, did not have full use of his mental faculties and would have had a better chance of survival if he'd been admitted to a healthcare facility as opposed to being treated as an outpatient by his personal doctor. Report heavily criticized the actions of Maradona's medical team, led by Leopoldo Luque and psychiatrist Agostina Kosachov. It called their actions inadequate, deficient, and reckless. And then it went into more detail. The medical team viewed fully and completely the possible death of the patient were completely indifferent to the possibility and didn't change their behavior or treatment plan, sustaining the damaging omissions laid out previously, leaving the health of the patient to chance. That is an aggressive uh, thing to say. Yeah. Like indifferent to the possibility of the de- a possible death of a patient. That is harsh. It really is. And it's coming from like it's... Like, that's an official investigation. Like, that's the yeah, government that's, saying that. That's on paper. Ugh. Yikes. Report also stated no drugs or alcohol were found in Maradona's system. That's rare. It is. It's rare, but also stuff like cocaine and mental health drugs don't stay in your system that long. Fidel helped him out. Yeah. Well, I mean, if, if he had been too sick to take drugs from the time he was released until he died, you're not going to find many drugs in his system. That- Maybe that's why he wasn't feeling Maradona. Yeah. Because he stopped doing cocaine. Got to get more coke in him. Where's that joie de vivre? After that heart attack. Yeah. So it's also uh, in this report uh, stated no drugs or alcohol and that his cause of death was, quote, acute pulmonary edema secondary to the exacerbation of chronic cardiac insufficiency. That acute pulmonary edema line is very important. Keep it in your craw. 
It also said he died in extreme agony. It's another quote. Diego Maradona started to die at least 12 hours before, which is to say there were unmistakable signs of a period of prolonged agony. And as a result, we conclude that the patient was not adequately monitored. That's where the nurses thing comes into play. Yeah. Where it's like, how do you go where this dude's dying for 12 hours and you just weren't paying attention? Wouldn't it be crazy if the nurse was like fucking somebody and that's why that happened? <laughs> Why well, I, I honestly, around, you know, I honestly think what happened is they were just checking to see if he was still breathing because I, I, I think I even saw that mentioned in one of the articles is that what they're, they're not really saying no one checked on him. They're saying they didn't check on him the way a hospital would check on him, which is to check his vital right. signs and his breathing and oxygen. They just went in and like put a fucking mirror under his nose, like in the movies to see if he was awake. It also mentioned an audio message sent to Maradona's family by physical therapist Nicholas Tafaro. This is a quote. Last week, I told them we had to get him up because he could develop a pulmonary edema. Ooh. Whoops. Whoopsie. So that's someone, tell. that's a physical therapist telling this doctor, get him out of bed or he's going to die of the exact thing he died of. So there probably was some negligence at play here. A little bit of negligence, maybe? A little, little negligence. A little bit of the neg. It also said that the home hospitalization, quote, was not so, as the basic conditions to hospitalize a patient with multiple complex pathologies like those Diego had did not exist. Translation, your home is not a hospital. Not even not even if there's doctors in it. Still and not a hospital. Hoe, your hoe is not a housewife. Like, would they have had a defibrillator, any of that shit? Nothing. Who knows? I'm, why, why, why didn't he? Yeah, I mean, he probably could have afforded like some hospital equipment. Tommy Lee had a fucking Starbucks in his home. You can get hospital equipment, can't you? Why not? Buy it from Fidel. Get an AED. You can get them for like $800. Yeah, that's nothing. So yeah, they also said both nurses and physicians failed to perform periodic checks in care that are required for cases like this. So yeah, I do think they were just being like... Eh. You still sleep? You still sleep? Can I borrow Can some money? Oh, I'll yeah, wait till you yeah, get exactly. up. Can you sign this check real quick? <laughs> yeah. And it might get them sent to prison because as a result of that investigation, seven people were charged in May 2021 with, quote, simple homicide with eventual intent. Like, that is weird, that phrasing. That, that's strange. Uh, and to remind it, we are recording this in June of 2021. So this is fresh. Yeah. And that's, that's why the episode is basically over because <laughs> there's not a lot of details to this. There's obviously way, way more that's going to come out. And it's also like, I always feel like the, in Argentina or whatever, they have this pro- like, um, a national hero w- was killed through a form of neglect. And like, I don't know, people, it seems like they're going to make them pay for that. Yeah. It, and it, is it different from the Michael Jackson thing? I feel like it's kind of a little bit different because the Michael Jackson thing, it seems like it was one doctor that fucked one thing up big time with a very controversial celebrity who went to court for fucking touching kids. So like there's a lot of people are not as invested in protecting Michael Jackson's legacy. Yeah. Because he may have fucked some kids. He may have. Yeah. I saw a quote from, or it was just a headline where apparently in, in an interview, Elton John said he found Michael Jackson to be uh, genuinely mentally ill and uncomfortable to be around. Yeah, of course. I love that kind of honesty. Did you need somebody to say that? No, but no one ever. It's like no one ever says it. Everyone acts like, oh, Michael Jackson, he's so down to earth and normal. And it's like, there's no way that's true. Zero no, percent chance anybody has ever said that. Yeah. No, like people do, though. I mean, it's wild people are crazy no man owns a theme park mm. and it's like a regular dude and it's just at home no yeah so yeah not his face decaying off of it self <laughs> but so this crime that they're charged with simple homicide with the eventual intent it sounds like more than just neglect like for one thing they're calling it homicide but the word intent is a very very heavy word when it comes to crime yeah and that charge carries a prison sentence of 8 to 25 years. And Leopoldo Luque and Agustina Kosachov are among the seven charged, 
along with two nurses, a nurse coordinator, a doctor, and a psychologist. Is Augustina Kosachov um, being charged with being a Soviet-era spy? <laughs> that is the name of a Soviet-era spy. It sure is. I did, not, I did not kill the little man. Maybe it's a Nazi who took on a Russian name to hide in South America right. better. Yeah. I love seeing all those white people in Argentina, and you're like, ah, we know what you are. Yeah, I always, we've been talking about Argentina this whole time, and I it just has been slipping my mind every episode that that's, I'm pretty sure that's where we send like really high profile witness protection people. Well, that's to Argentina. People, I remember when uh, Starship Troopers, people love that movie, and they're like, it's weird that it's Argentina that they talk about. And I'm like, well, it is a Nazi allegory. Yeah. So maybe you could figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Look into Nazis in Argentina. Everyone got away but Hitler. Okay. Okay. I I I buy it. I buy it. He definitely died in Germany. Anyway, yeah, as we're recording this, the questioning in this case has just started, like within days. So there's not really a conclusion to this story currently. This is gonna have to be part one of our final episode. Yeah. And part two, buckle up. It's probably gonna be a wait. But again. That all depends on how the Argentine legal system works. Which means we've got new stuff coming down the pike. Yeah, we got to decide who next season's going to be about. I'm sure we'll do a couple of uh, one-offs. Yeah. Maybe get into a new sport. New sport. You know, we, what are some sports we haven't done? We haven't done golf. We haven't done swimming. We haven't done swimming. We there are done- actually a few swimmers that would make interesting picks. Yeah. We, could, we haven't done uh, boxing. Yeah. Um, we haven't done football. My favorite sport. I like the way they dribble up and down the court. Uh, badminton. Mm. Never covered that. Poker. Poker. That's uh, that's something. <laughs> that's, some, that's something that we could do, I guess. The Westminster Dog Show. Old, yeah. Longest running sporting event in the United States. Cheerleading. We haven't done cheerleading yet. Lots of famous cheerleaders. I could mm-hmm. list them all, but yeah, you know, like that. this episode's already guy. long enough. Like that one that got caught taking photos of kids from that documentary on Netflix. Oh God, that's where everyone's like, "Oh, I'm so pulling for him," and then they're like, "Oh, he got <laughs> he got milkshake ducked." Uh, yeah, Jerry was that his name? And everyone's like, "Oh, good for him." And I then we're like, "Oh, bad for him." I didn't watch that show. I watched like one, and I normally like a cheerleading competition. Oh, I loved it. Like I used to watch that shit on ESPN all the time. It's very fascinating, and I thought I would like that show, but. I just got a bunch of fucking kids and their drama. Get out of here. I mean, and then there's a pedophile on there. Looks like I backed the right horse. (laughs) So horse racing, horse racing. There's, I mean, right now there is crazy shit happening with horse racing. Balloon racing. We could just do an episode about horses that were shot right on the track. (laughs) That happened at the Kentucky Derby. Is that the third? No. What's the third one? Whatever the third. Preakness, I think. And uh, I don't remember who the horse was, but they they thought he had a really good shot at uh, winning the Triple Crown. Instead, he broke his leg during the race, and they shot him right there on the track. Which, uh, imagine being a, of, a kid who just got into horse racing. Because a lot this, of uh, this, wealthy white women in big hats had a rough <laughs> day that day. Yeah. Are you gonna? How's that mint julep taste now, lady? <laughs> oh. What a brutal sport. So uh, that's that's our episode. That's our we'll season. Yeah, yeah. We a uh, season wrapped. We we did it. Uh, let's have a round of applause for the the crew, uh, the production team for helping us out. Uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, th- that's it. Jeff, do you got anything to plug? I sure do. Jeff has cool friends. My podcast where I interview my cool friends about all their cool shit is available at patreon.com slash Jeff may. Uh, and you can also get it for free everywhere. Uh, patrons get it a week early with all the naughty words still in. You can also check out Tom and Jeff watch Batman uh, uh, on the gamefully unemployed network. And then of course uh, uh, you don't even like sports, which you're listening to right now and the unpops uh, podcast on the unpopular opinion network. Uh, if you email me, I will email you Jeff episodes a week early without you paying uh so hit me up for that jeff is that all right with you you would never do that i would do i'm gonna do it i'm gonna the effort that that would require you would not do i'm gonna set up a bot i'm gonna set up a no a a macro adam Adam bot brown no (laughs) yeah uh you know patreon.com slash unpops unpops network 
<laughs> and you can follow me on Twitter at Adam Todd Brown or on Instagram at Adam Todd Brown. It's Todd with one D. Don't fuck that up. All right, Jeff, let's get out of here. Say goodbye. You get the Diego Maradona opposite of a rookie card, everybody. <laughs> He's dead. Goodbye, everybody. We love you. Hi, we love you. R.I.P. to a king. 